if you do one easy thing, it's very likely you're gonna do two, two easy, easy things. things. And then three and four. And also, you're gonna make your friends do it. And you're gonna make your family do it. And you're gonna start educating them. And all of a sudden, we're all activists. We're all, and we all have to be activists. We all have to become global warming activists. That has to be one of our titles. That has to be what we consider ourselves. And we can all do it. So here are some really simple things. And it starts with a light bulb, OK? And this is amazing. We're still using a light bulb that was invented 128 years ago. Like, that makes no sense. Like, right. surely, you know, we can do better than that. And we can. And they have. And they've come up with a more energy efficient bulb. It's a CFL. And it's 75% more energy efficient. And they're fantastic. And if every American household changed just five old bulbs, the new bulbs, it'd be equivalent to taking eight million cars off the road for a year. Okay, we that's can one do that. Easy thing. We one can do that. that. And that's just changing five. I know we could change more. If we phase the old light bulb out altogether, by the way, as a country, it'd be equivalent to taking out 80 coal plants. Okay, that is substantial. So people say to me, well, you know, how, how does changing a light bulb, you know, stop global warming? Yes, it can stop global warming. We all have all this electronic equipment now. I mean, when did this happen where every single member of a family has four or five or six electronic equipment items themselves? So your, your iPod, your cell phone, your digital camera, your electric toothbrush, your hair dryer. You know, it goes on and on and on, right? So when you leave that charger in the wall, and we all do it, that charger is still drawing energy. It's wasting energy. You're paying for that, and you're not even using it. We are now have a generation growing up of kids who think that the only way to drink water is out of a water bottle. And look, we have one right here, OK? So these plastic water bottles are made from petroleum. I mean, do you, do you think of that when you're drinking out of a bottle? No. But now, now that I know that every time I see a water bottle, I say, OK, that's petroleum. And by the way, it is a stunning stat, but it is true. Do you know how many water bottles Americans throw away every hour? Nope. 2.5 million an hour. So they're going into landfills. Where they last for 1,000 years or more. And they're made from petroleum. So this is crazy. So you've got disposable paper napkins, something we use for a second and toss out, paper towels, tissues, toilet paper, all, all these things that we don't think about, right? Well, when you buy them at the store and you buy items made from virgin paper, which are, you know, 100-year-old trees that are busy absorbing CO2 while they're standing and don't absorb it when they're cut, the, the paper towels that I'm using is cut from a virgin tree. Like, should I be doing that? Should, that, should it be legislated? that no more disposable paper products be made from virgin trees. And by the way, if I make a choice in the supermarket to buy post-consumer recycled paper towels, another crummy name, but that's what they're called, mm -hmm. right? If I make that choice, millions of trees are going to stay standing in the ground. Like, is that a sacrifice? Is that, can I live with that? Every time someone goes shopping in every store, you take a plastic bag. We all do it. Is it a sacrifice to start carrying a canvas bag? Like, is that a sacrifice? I mean, plastic bags are made from petroleum. We throw a gazillion of them away every year. It's crazy. We don't need to be doing that. We can live a great life and change some of these things and slow global warming down and protect all the things that we care about.